shots this season. They're seeing the ball well and had more hits than Mankato tonight, but scoring runs and pitching will be areas of focus in the future. The Moondogs are one place ahead of the Tots in the Great Plains West standings. No score in the third. Moondogs have runners on first and second with two outs. Line drive to Christian Perez at third base. Lays out on the turf for the third out. Jack Smith still pitching in the fourth. Waist high liner to Tristan Moore at first. He catches the ball and tags the bag. Double play. Still no runs in the sixth inning. Duncan Lutz from Georgia State in the pitch. Two outs. He'll get a helping hand from Zach Kluvers, the shortstop from NDSU. Tracks the pop up and holds on. Moondogs decide to move to small ball in the seventh inning. This perfectly placed bunt puts one on the scoreboard. The Tots scored one run, but just not enough. They'll try again tomorrow night. The Minot Vistas open the season on an 8 0 undefeated run. And well, I suppose they weren't going to go the whole season without a loss. The Bismarck Governors came to Corbett Field and won the first game despite Morgan Nygaard's two for five outing with a triple. A lot more Minot in the second game. Last I checked, the Vistas were up six, thanks in part to Parker Han. A single, double, and a triple, just a homer shy of the cycle. The Burlington Bulldogs are one of seven teams competing in the Chris Wenzel Com Memorial Tournament in Bismarck this weekend, honoring the Century graduate. Bulldogs play Fargo Fo Post 400 tomorrow evening, and the Bismarck 15's Capitals tomorrow. Both games are at Bismarck Municipal Ballpark. The Twins are hosting the Tigers in Minneapolis this week in Detroit. They've only won one game in the last 12, and they haven't been playing well on the road. It's tied in the bottom of the second. One run each, and Donovan Solano changes that. He bashes a three-run homer nearly 400 feet in the left center. Twins take the lead. Down two, Javi Baez, the 30-year-old shortstop, lifts one into the gap in left center, rolls around the warning track, and it'll score two runs. Throw is cut off. Baez puts Detroit up on a two-RBI triple. They tack another run on, and Spencer Torkelson, he played baseball at Arizona State, keeps the parade in left field going. Two more runs score, and Torkelson stands up for a double. Game two of the series is in Minneapolis tomorrow night at 7.10 p.m. We've got a whole lot of Legion, Northwoods, and Major League Baseball going on tomorrow into the weekend. We'll be right back.